hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for take today we came with the amazing mod that is upgrading your snapdragon device add on a gpu drivers version to the latest one we already created some gpu drivers upgrade video you can check them from the links given under the video description but that video has some old drivers but today we came with the latest driver for adrono 640 660 630 730 and 740 variants if your SOC has any one of mentioned GPU, then you can use this mod to upgrade your device to the latest OpenGL and Hulkan graphics drivers from the 615 to 690. You can check on the screen which Adreno GPU drivers can be upgraded to which driver versions. Its details are also given under the video description. I am using OnePlus 9RT with the Snapdragon 888 and GPU Adreno 660 which has old OpenGL drivers version 3.2 at the rate 530, while Hukong Graphics version is 512.530. Last time we upgraded to the Hukong Graphics version 615, but now we got the newest OpenGL and Hukong Graphics version 615.50 by using this Magix module. You can check on the screen, my driver version got these latest and stable version upgraded directly to the OpenGL 3.2 at the rate 615.50. To use this mod, your device must be rooted with the Magix installed. You can try this without root by flashing over TWRP, but I didn't test it that so I can't confirm it will work only with the TWRP or not. After updating the drivers, I also did the full GPU Geekbench test and 3D Mark test to compare the performance between old and new drivers to confirm is it new drivers really makes any difference in numerical values of the device or not. I also tested the PUBG to confirm real life improvement because of new drivers. At last I've shown how you can properly download the correct drivers as per your SOC version. This is the most important part because you have to correctly choose the drivers from the download link that most of users didn't understand. I also shown how you can recover your phone if something goes wrong because of drivers. So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. I am using the OnePlus 9RT running on the Oxon OS 13.1 and 13, which has CPU SOC version Snapdragon 888 with the Adreno GPU 660. As I already shown in intro, I am on the old GPU driver's version that is OpenGL 3.2 at the rate 530 and Hulkan as a 515.530. Only download the latest version of drivers greater than this version number you will find under the download section. To check your own device OpenGL and Hukon graphics version, please use the device info and Hukon caps your application. Their links are given under the video description. So I downloaded the supported and most stable GPU drivers from the download link. I have shown how to choose correct drivers for your device timestamp of the video. Please must watch that before flashing the mod. I downloaded the OpenGL and Hukon graphics version at the rate 615.50. Now open the Magix application and flash the downloaded Magix module and reboot your phone. Here I already did this step. Once rebooted, please confirm your device OpenGL and Hukong graphics version are upgraded or not as per driver versions using the device info and Hukong caps your application. So all the things are done here. Now let's check out if these new drivers really makes any real life difference in the numerical values and real life performance. First I ran the Geekbench 6 test without performance mode and I got the score of 3685 for the OpenGL and 5213 for Hulkan Graphics API. Next I enabled the performance mode which is present in the battery setting of the phone. After running the Geekbench test with the performance mode I got the score of 3804 for the OpenGL and 5182 for the Hulkan Graphics. Now let's run the 3D Mark test. Here I did only 4 tests. One is Slingshot, Slingshot Extreme, Wildlife and Wildlife Extreme. Which are shorter duration tests, others are stress tests. So to avoid the lengthy video, I avoided that test. After running the Wildlife, I got the score of 5671. Here along with the score, we get more details like how your device performed in comparison with the other devices. Next I did the Wildlife Extreme test and I got the score of 1387. Next I did the Slingshot Extreme test for the OpenGL and we got the score of max route because device performed outstanding. For Slingshot, we got the score of 7196. 
Now I disabled the GPU graphics drivers modules and rebooted the device. So our device downgraded to the OpenGL 3.2 at the rate 5.30 version and Hulkan to the 5.15.5.30. Now I did all the tests without the drivers and here are the results. For Geekbench 6 without performance mode I got the score of 3.686 and for Hulkan we got the score of 4.817. If you check the Geekbench results with the newest drivers installed, there we got the similar score for OpenGL but Hulkan graphics performance is higher with the drivers as compared to non-updated drivers. Now I enabled the performance mode and ran the test one more time. Here I got the score of 3796 for OpenGL and for Hulkan graphics we got the score of 5316. Both of these scores are slightly lower as compared to the device with the newest drivers. Next I did the 3D mark test without the drivers here surprisingly I got some difference like for slingshot we got the max out results. For wildlife we got the score of 5849 and for the wildlife extreme score is 1536. If you check the results in comparison with the newest drivers, old drivers outperform like for slingshot newest drivers given 7196 while old drivers max out the result. For wildlife score is 1536 with the old drivers and newest drivers has only 1387. For wildlife old drivers has the 5849 and with the newest drivers it is 5671. So I decided to run the test with the newest driver one more time to reconfirm the results. After running the second test with the newest driver for wildlife we got the score of 6112 and without drivers we got the score of 5849. While for wildlife extreme now score has slight rise with the score of 1576 while old driver score was 1536. For slingshot we got the score of max route similar like without drivers. So definitely new drivers has did slight but real improvement in the numerical values. But they may differ with the test taken at different times. Every time you will not get same results because of thermal throttling of the device. In the real life uses these drivers can make improvement in the gaming experience of your device. But visibly you can't confirm because it's not measurable. PUBG game experience was very smooth on these new drivers, not a single performance drop were found. So I can confirm that the new drivers though make small improvement but it's commendable. Now comes the most important part how to choose correct drivers and how to solve boot loop if something goes wrong because of these drivers. If you open the download link you will see all the Adreno GPU driver links like 640, 650, 660, 730 and 740. To check if your device has these Adreno GPU versions, I have given the list of devices with their socks and Adreno GPU driver version under the video description. Please refer that to confirm your Adreno GPU version. You can also use the device info application to confirm your GPU version. Now for example if you tap on the Adreno 640 link, you will get the two download link. One is with the full OpenGL and Vulkan 690 based version and another with the 676 and 655 old versions. So you have to check the remarks given in a bracket of driver version. If it's saying the best with the latest driver version number then download that version only. There is a test folder also available which may work with all the GPU versions but I will not recommend them because it may cause boot loop issue. Now tap on the driver version link you will see new page opens the tap generate download link. After waiting time you will get the download link tap on it and once download completes it's ready to be flashed. Now comes the another most important part if your device didn't boot up into the OS and goes in a boot loop then follow this video its link is given under the video description. This will solve the issue within 2 minutes. So you can try any test module if you want without fear of boot loop. This is all about the new GPU drivers for your Snapdragon device which will definitely help us to improve your device gaming experience. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked this video. If yes, then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.